Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. This is one of the noisier tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make your enemies explode, alright? That means we're actually taking out the inner Ted Kaczynski. If you have that Taliban mentality, then this is your tutorial. So, I'm going to show you how to make your enemies explode into a million pieces. So, let's get to it. There aren't a lot of changes to the stage. The only thing I did was give it this blue um, color, which gives you the idea that you're flying somewhere in the sky. The main thing I want to show you is inside of the library, all the things that I've added. I've added the the hit sound, which is that that sound. That is a sound effect. And I've linked it up just like the other sounds. If you're confused by this, watch my last tutorial which was uh, sh enemy creation. Yes, that's what it was. Enemy creation where we linked up uh, a few things. Just, just you know what? Watch it from the beginning. Anyway, I created this. I got the sound and I linked it up. And the way I did that was I right clicked, clicked on the properties, and I navigated to the properties. And inside of the properties, I moved down to export for action script. And I named it the class. I gave it uh, the class FXX, FF. Dag. SFX underscore hit and this is the name of the class and this is what I'll be calling using action script to get that sound the poof sound so back into the library I have an explosion which I'll play for you really quickly this explosion that I created um, which you can easily make with a little practice but the important thing about this explosion is that it's linked up to the library. So right click properties and you basically go through the same procedure and I named this um, explosion because we're going to use it via action script and it's a movie clip. Um, the last two items are just GIFs, uh, not GIFs, uh, graphics, which are pieces of the explosion. And I'll go inside the explosion and show you how I built it. For the explosion, I'll just run through it frame by frame really quickly showing you how I put it all together. First frame, we want it to be black. The second frame is a blast of white, so that shocks the eyes into seeing a, a bright flash. Then we go into the big fireball. Second, it starts to uh, multiply into smaller, smaller fireballs, and then you get some discolored grayish fireballs uh, coupled with smoke. And um, we have more smoke, more smoke, less fire all smoke lots of little pieces of smoke and then nothing and that is our explosion that's pretty much how it is um, let's look at the graphics that the smoke ball and the fire as you can see it's just a gray with a radiant um, a radial color just light gray at the top dark gray at the bottom same idea white orange dark orange or a white yellow dark orange to get that a tinge so that's pretty much how you make the explosion. It, it wasn't crazy. So now we're going to code this thing. The way we code it is we're going to create a we're going to create a class for the explosion, saving that class inside of the of the directory and that class will be called explosion.as. So let's get into the explosion.as and make that thing work. I already created it, so let's look at what it consists of. It's a pretty simple class it basically opens and then dies. That's the whole point of the explosion. So we have a package, of course, you always put everything inside of a package when you're making a class. Then you import the things you need. For this, we're importing the display movie clip, we're importing the events class, and we're also importing the sound from the media, all that jazz. So we start off saying public class explosion extends to the movie clip. The first order of business within the class is to create a variable and that variable I call hit which is a sound and we assign that sound to that new SFX underscore hit class that we created which is the same explosion sound that I've been showing you in the library so we link this up inside of this um, explosion action script file or explosion class so now hit is the same as SFX underscore hit so okay, so let's get into the constructor function. The constructor function, same name as the class, the first function that will be run when the class is created. So we add the event listener, which is I call xkill. And basically what xkill will do is see if 
the frames are completed and if it's completed meaning the end of your explosion of your explosion animation then it needs to be removed killed in other words and i get that x kill from lennox anyway that's side note anyway what we need to do is play that hit sound or that explosion sound that we have so that hit variable now we're going to name it hit dot play so it plays it adds the frame plays the song or the sound effect rather and let's get into that X kill function that I've created. The X kill function that I've created is private function X kill E event. And what it says is if the current frame is equal to the frames loaded, which frames loaded represents the amount of frames inside of your movie clip. For this, I don't remember how many frames are in the explosion, maybe 20 or so. So basically, it says, okay, if I'm at frame one, does it equal 20 yet? And when it does say equal 20, then it will remove the event listener, which is X kill. It'll stop it from running, and it'll also remove it from the stage, um, because this is where we're going to put the explosion on the stage. So parent dot remove child this, which is the explosion. Okay, so how do we link this explosion up? Well, we're going to link it up through the enemy class. So this requires you looking at the other tutorials. Um, to understand where we're coming from because we're just building on top of the the last tutorial so um, let's go into the enemy action script or enemy class that we've created now we make this enemy class because you know we eventually we're gonna give this our enemy a little bit more intelligence than just seeing if it's shot and seeing and making it move down um, so let's move on to the the code that I've added okay we have this for loop that basically checks to see if the bullet is hit. Rather, see if the enemy is hit. Well, either way, it's fine. If the bullet gets hit or the enemy gets hit, somebody's getting hit. If this hit test object is we're seeing if that bullet target gets hit. And once it gets hit, we want to create that boom. So that boom is a new variable. Uh, and that variable is a data type to a movie clip and we make it the new explosion class that we've created because we exported it for action script so we can call it explosion and I'm just gonna name it boom so the boom X and the boom Y is assigned to the same X and Y of your character and if your characters X and Y when I say character I mean enemy if your enemies X and Y is in the center the explosion will happen in the center so that's good to know and where do we want to add the boom which is actually the explosion which a boom is not anyway we want to add that to the stage so stage dot add child and uh, that's exactly how it happens uh, it tests to see if the bullet is hitting the enemy and once it is hitting the enemy we create this boom movie clip which is the explosion class the explosion gets set to the X and Y of your enemy then the boom finally shows up on stage when you add the child boom so that's basically it for our explosion there's nothing crazy going on there's nothing radical you saw it was just a few steps and um, we can make the explosion do a couple th a lot of things but we're um that's why we have it as a class so we can build upon that explosion adding a, a lot more structure to it um, for now, we have a really dumb enemy that knows how to explode and tell if it's getting hit by a bullet. That's most enemies in the world. But anyway, basically that's it for explosions. Really simple. So nothing has changed on the stage. Basically the same thing. Just giving your movie a way better effect. So thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please rate, comment, subscribe, go to my website and click on an ad or two. Put a few pennies in my pocket. And also, you'll be able to download the FLA. This is really vital because if you're watching this and you just want to get into it, then this is the way to get into it. Download the FLA. Don't tell me, oh, my, my, my movie is not working. Well, download the FLA and see if it's, if it's working, you know. Look at my stuff, look at your stuff, and see where it went awry. So go to my website, download stuff. I'm not charging you for it. I should. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, I think the next tutorial will be uh, scoring. People have been asking me, how do you do scoring? I'm going to show you. So stay tuned, subscribe, and don't forget to kiss your mama.